Toronto's had a remarkably good press in recent years. It's been called the new great city, or a model of the alternate future. And not by Torontonians. These delightful epithets have come from American and European magazines and city planners. But Canadians, by and large, are less complimentary. Until very recently, Hogtown was the preferred description of Toronto by Canadians from other parts of the country. And it has been said that one of the few unifying factors in this very divided land is that all Canadians share a dislike, however perverse or irrational it may be, for Toronto. Toronto's relationship with the American cities to the south has often been the butt of local jokes. The city of Buffalo, New York, for example, is about 40 miles south as the crow flies. And in my youth, it was said that for a really lively weekend, what you had to do was drive to Buffalo. Torontonians do not seem to feel that this migration now serves any useful purpose, but we still seem to have some deep-seated psychological need to look at Buffalo every now and then. And so, in 1976, we built this tower, which, according to the tourist guides, is the tallest freestanding structure in the world. It's 1,815 feet high, if you have a head for that sort of thing. And they tell me that from up there, on a clear day, you can see, if not forever, at least Buffalo.